Hey, how's it going? And today we're taking a look at creating two score counters on the screen. And for this particular implementation, I have one for the computer and one for the player. So this isn't for in the future, I'll plan to do one on 1v1 kind of setup. But this is what it looks like here. Go start game. And I've just made this very simple because I didn't want to overwhelm myself or anybody else. So you'll see up on the top, we have computer is zero and player is zero. And then I've got two triggers in the game. So if I cross one, one is the computer and one is the player. So if I cross this one, see the computer gets one, the computer gets two, the computer gets three. And then if I come over here, the player gets one, the player gets two, like that. And so this just has a lot of application. I like this. This is using verse code, and I like this because I like the idea of having this kind of precise control over this signage in the game. I'll be back in just a minute to show you how we set this up. Essentially, all I have, I'm in a basic island template, blank island template, and I've got two triggers in the scene, and I've got a verse device. That's all that's in the scene. The majority of this is done with verse code. If I double click into this or go into the verse code itself, I'll just take, we'll just take a quick look at all this. So here we've got our modules, all our modules. This creates our trigger counter device. We've got two at editables for our two triggers. Down here on our positions of our buttons, you can pop in float values for these things. So you can put in float variables. So I just knew that I wanted to adjust only the top margin on the second button. So that's the only one I created. But if I wanted more control, I just create variables for all these numbers that I wish to change. So that's recommended because then you could just change them in the editor and you don't have to jump back into the code. But that's a pretty simple thing to do. But this is just me being kind of lazy right there because that's the only one that I'm interested in adjusting. I might be interested in adjusting the left margin so that I can scoot it more to the left so it aligns with the top button. And then here we've got a trigger counter variable for our trigger counters. We've got a variable for our player. And then we have, these are our variables for our two buttons. And these can be changed to, I think there's three styles of buttons. I just have it set to regular, but you could change this to loud if you wanted. And then we have these two localizes message string but it's a message type and i've done some videos about this in the past but this is where we actually change our text so up here for this if i wanted the one button to change what it says i would just change it right here and then this allows us to kind of append it with a a value so this could be a float or another string or whatever we just have this set as score and then on begin play we subscribe here we use the triggered event method coming out of our trigger device and we use subscribe to then call to our own methods that we've written in here. Every time trigger event one is fired, it increments the score once and then sets the text and updates the trigger count. And if trigger two is pressed, it does the same thing. And then here we just see if a valid player exists. And if he does, we set the UI and down here, this is basically all over the internet as far as, this might be a little different because you here I'm showing you how to set up the interface for two buttons. But if you wanted three buttons, you just duplicate this. You just duplicate this canvas slot and then rename everything to button three. Once you can make two buttons, you can make three buttons, you can make four buttons. And in that case, you'd wanna also probably have more variables controlling these values so you could position it. And here we add the widget. And that's all there is to it. I don't say all there is to it, but anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.